how to add the cinematic looking black letterbox effect to your videos or the cinematic black bars as some people call it uh, so you can make your videos look more interesting and uh, more cinematic looking so I'm going to actually show you two methods in this video one which is the very very simple and beginner way to do it it's not the most professional by most people uh, standards who are filmmakers but it gets the job done just right for most YouTube videos and for example if you are making a vlog and you want to add a little cinematic sequence to it it will be just fine in my opinion uh, the reason why most people don't like it is because with that method you're really just adding uh, an extra layer on top of your video so uh, if it's a normal 1920 by 1080 video or full HD video with a normal 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio right it's not going to be a full screen video still if you are watching it on a widescreen monitor, right? And I'm going to also show you the proper way to do it, quote unquote, um, which will show uh, up as a wide angle video or like a widescreen video on a widescreen monitor. So let's get into method number one, the PNG method, okay? So for this one, all you need to do is go to Google and just search up cinematic black bars PNG. Choose one uh, that has the aspect ratio that you like. So I'm just going to download a random one from here. Obviously you want to select one that you like. Um, so I'm just gonna download this one. And then you want to grab the photo and just drag it onto your timeline in Premiere. So as you can see, this is literally how simple it is. Now I have this letterboxing effect on all the parts of the video where it is over it. So for example, if I want to have it on the first 15 seconds of the video, uh, I can just do this and now I have that. So under um, the letterbox, what you can do if it's not really uh, fitting correctly is go and select the video that you want to change the positioning of and then go to effect controls and then go to position and then here on the second number you can adjust you can adjust the y axis so for example if i want to lower it a bit uh, i will just or uh, make it you know higher i will just drag it up and then as you can see now it fits uh perfectly so uh, this is how simple it is to add and so if you are editing a vlog and you want to have the letterbox effect over a small sequence of it maybe with some music and make it look more cinematic then you can just drag and drop a letterbox um, template PNG on top of it and boom now you have that effect. So the second way to get this ultra wide look on your videos is to actually use that resolution when you are creating the project. So for example for uh, the 1080p ultra wide uh, resolution is um, 2560 pixels by uh, 1080 pixels okay so what we want to do is go to Premiere and then go to file create a new sequence okay new sequence and then here in the settings we want to uh, make it custom right and then here we're gonna put in 2560 by uh, 1080 okay and you want to have square pixels uh, there and uh, then create it and as you can see now we have this ultra wide look so if I go and import my video in it now um, as you can see it doesn't fill up the screen fully so if you want to make it fill out the screen properly you will need to probably scale up your video a bit so let me just do that and uh, as you can see, now I have this uh, widescreen effect on my video the whole time. And I can still also adjust the positioning of it so it fits everything correctly. And now with this version, when you export this video out, the actual file is going to be this widescreen format. So when you play it on a ultra wide screen, then it's still going to fill out the whole screen. And uh, for travel videos or any sort of cinematic videos where there is no like vlog element to it, this is actually what I recommend doing because this is the quote unquote proper way to do it. Now, I'm going to leave the actual resolutions in the description below for this widescreen format for both uh, 720p, 1080p and uh, 4K. So you don't have to look for it on the internet and you can just copy and paste it from there. So I really hope you found this video valuable. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.